and welcome back to my channel. So today I decided to make a video on 7 common mistakes that almost every beginner makes. But before diving into that, I would like to share something with you guys. I just launched my Patreon page this week. I've consistently been working as an artist for 2 years now and if you're someone who would like to support me then you are welcome to do so on Patreon. I have some exclusive content coming only for Patreon like full length real time tutorials, grid references, early updates and a lot more. So go check out my Patreon page for details on the rewards I have to offer. And by the way, you can get the grid reference of the drawing I'm going to make in this video on my Patreon page as well. Now let's get back into the video. So the first mistake that beginners make is that they focus too much on the details and ignore the basic form and structure of the drawing. Like for example, I've seen beginners exaggerate on the shape of teeth while drawing a portrait and completely ignore the proportions of the lips, which does not make your drawing look good at all. Focus more on the basic form of your drawing. If you want to draw hyper-realistic lips with plenty of detailing, then first of all focus on the right form and proportion instead of jumping right into the details and adding the wrinkles. You cannot create a detailed artwork unless you are able to get the basic form right. So the second common mistake that almost every beginner makes is that they use a very narrow range of values. Now by values I mean the variety of dark and light shades. It may be tempting to get all the work done with just one grade of pencil you commonly use in school. But adding a few more shades to your drawing can create a very big difference. The less the amount of values you add to your drawing, the more flat and boring it will look. However, adding more diverse values will make your drawings pop out. The third mistake is that beginners don't blend. Many people ask me how I get a smooth look in my drawings made with pencil. So the answer is by blending. Blending is something a lot of beginners overlook. Once you apply a pencil layer, make sure to blend it well. You don't need to have fancy tools for that. All you need are q-tips, smooth brushes, mine is a makeup brush or even tissue papers. That flawless looking texture you've been craving for can easily be achieved using these blending tools. The fourth common mistake is blending with fingers. Now a lot of beginners may prefer blending their drawings with their thumb and fingers. But let me tell you, blending with your fingers is not a good idea. And the reason is, our fingers have natural oils released on their surface which when rubbed on a paper can leave some stubborn marks and they cannot even be erased and that is something which will certainly not make your drawings look good. The fifth mistake is creating artwork that is out of proportion. Like I discussed previously, the basic form and structure of your drawing is like the base of your artwork. And in order for your drawing to look super realistic and perfect, it has to have a realistic shape that actually exists. So to improve your symmetries, you can incorporate several methods like using measurements of a scale to put each element of the drawing in the right place, or simply using grid line method. I have a video on how to get your proportions right using grid method. I'll leave a link in the description box for you to watch after this video. The next common mistake that beginners often make is being hesitant to add darker values. Now beginners are often hesitant to add darker values to their drawings, especially when it comes to drawing faces. They are afraid in case they make any mistakes, they won't be able to erase it. But you'll overcome this fear only by practice. Focus on your reference image and apply the dark shade only as much as required. And with time and practice, you'll definitely be able to overcome this fear. So the last mistake that beginners often make is erasing too much. Beginners tend to erase too much while creating their art piece. Now I'm not saying that you should not use eraser at all, but you should try to minimize its use. Using eraser too many times can again leave invisible marks on your paper that when you apply pencil shade over it, it becomes a smudge and it's really hard to get rid of. So what you need to do is, Try to make a conscious effort next time you're drawing to reduce the use of eraser. And with some practice, you'll surely be able to do that. So that was it for this video. If you liked the content, please make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe to my channel. And click the bell icon so you're the first one to receive all the updates from me. I will see you with a new video next week. Till then, take care.